Hello, dear subscriber, it's Dr. MK7. And welcome to Medicine in 5 Minutes. This is a series on my YouTube channel where we look at medical topics in the shortest space of time. And today, in this episode, we're going to be looking at the stages of labor. Recall that labor is a series of events that takes place in the genital organs in an effort to expel the viable products of conception out of the womb through the vagina into the outer world. Labor is divided into three main stages. The first stage, which is divided into the latent and active phase. A second stage where the fetal descent is through the vagina and expulsion as the mother has the push urge. And the third is the delivery of the placenta. During the latent phase, contractions gradually become more intense, the cervix becomes thin, soft, and is pulled into the uterus. This is referred to as cervical effacement. During the latent phase, the cervix dilates up to 3 cm, and in the active phase, the contractions become more regular and the cervix dilates 4 to 10 cm at an approximate rate of 1 cm per hour. This is much faster in multiparous women. Remember that the pathograph can actually be used to monitor the active phase of labor. Monitoring during the active phase of labor can be done every 15 minutes. Ensure that you check the fetal heart rate for one minute after contractions. Use continuous cardiotocography if there is fetal distress. Every 30 minutes to check the frequency of contractions. Normally, you should have about three to four contractions per minute. Every one hour to check the maternal heart rate. Every four hours to check the maternal blood pressure, temperature, examine the vagina, as well as check the urine for ketones and as well as proteins. In the second stage of labor, the baby enters the pelvis occipital transverse as the pelvic inlet is wider transversely. There is eventually going to be internal rotation to the occipital anterior position as the outlet is wider anterior posteriorly. There is delivery by neck extension and restitution through 45 degrees in line with the shoulders. Eventually, there is going to be external rotation as the shoulders pass through the pelvis. And monitoring during the second stage of labor can be done every 5 minutes to check the fetal heart rate, every 30 minutes to check the contraction frequency, every 1 hour to check the maternal BP, heart rate and vaginal examination, and every 4 hours to check the maternal temperature. Management of the third stage of labor could be done physiologically or actively. Physiological management entails not cutting the umbilical cord until it stops pulsating. The urge to push and the placenta is expelled usually within 10 minutes to an hour and this carries a risk of postpartum hemorrhage. Active management allows at least a minute before double clamping and cutting the umbilical cord. Do not also forget to give oxytocin or centometrin intramuscularly as the anterior shoulder is delivered. Also perform controlled cord traction with of course some support to the perineum. As the child is born, check the APGA score at least at 1 minute, 5 minutes and 10 minutes. Also administer vitamin K 1 mg intramuscularly to the baby to reduce the risk of vitamin K deficiency bleeding. Thank you for spending your time to listen to this episode. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. Follow us also on Facebook at Dr. MK7 to Zambia and beyond. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. Until next time, bye-bye.